Hey guys, welcome to another Maple Story 2 video, and today I'm gonna explain some good ways to make mesos early on in MS2 while we're getting into the game, and also to prep those of you who aren't playing in the Head Start who are gonna be coming in in about like roughly three days. MS2 is really simple right now since the big updates don't come out until October 10th when the full game is released. But when that does come out, you're gonna have to get some good money to get you prepared, but for a more general beginner's guide, I'll be making a separate video for that. There are only a few methods of meso making at the current moment, not counting all the meso botters that have plagued the game in no time flat, but if you have any other meso making suggestions, definitely leave them in the comment section below so everyone can get some better cash. What you will need is a level 50 character with at least 1500 gear score, and that's a trivial matter since most people at level 50 will have 1400 to 1450 at that point, in which case all you gotta do is spend a little bit of money to buy a better weapon from the black market and you're set to go. The first way to make messes is just to level up characters. The storyline naturally will provide you with about 1 to 2 mil depending on whether you get some extra meso throughout your quest. Consider making alt accounts early on, which will also be beneficial for dungeon grinding and daily quests, which I'll get to in a little bit. It takes around 4 to 8 hours to reach level 50, determined by how fast you are at completing each quest and the natural story progression up to that point, because it doesn't change between each class, it's the same run through whether you play a wizard, ranger, thief, or knight. The main consistent way to make meso, which takes only 10-15 to 15 minutes per character, is to do your daily missions. By clicking on the Get Rich tab, you get 3 quests every day that reset at 5pm Pacific Time and 8pm Eastern Time, with all other time zones having their respective resets. These quests are very simple, just have to venture around the maple world and attack mobs using certain terrain items, for instance swinging the telephone pole or dropping powder kegs, and the like. If you have access to the rotor air taxi, which pretty much every Head Start member does, you can hyper teleport rock your way around the maple world and get these three quests done easy within no time flat. Completing this quest will not only reward you with some experience and mission points, but they also give you meso sacks which can be 1k, 5k, 10k, 50k, sometimes 100 or 500k in varying quantities. On average you're expected to get about a couple hundred k per character that does this per day, and if you leveled up a bunch of alt accounts you can do them on each one. And because they don't require any gear to get done, that's pretty much a very easy consistent way to make meso, assuming you do have access to the air taxis. Next method of making money, and the, probably the best one so far, is to do dungeon farming. Get as many characters as you feel like to 1500 gear score and start farming dungeons. You can do 10 per day, 30 per week. Most recommended is probably Tronic's Bunker, since a fast and coordinated party can get it done within 4-5 to five minutes with minimal gear score. You're guaranteed to get your class specific weapons as well as some equipped fragments which can be crafted into better equipment. Not only that, but you can also get dungeon chests that give you onyx crystals and other enhancement items. That's important for later. These weapons sell for a decent amount of money in the black market, since not only do people need them to get their characters suited up, but also because they can be extracted for Onyx Crystals, the MapleStory 2 equivalent of scrolling or spell tracing for MapleStory 1. Alternatively, you can extract the items yourself by going into your inventory and dismantling the items, then selling the Onyx Crystals you get. But from my understanding, depending on the price, you're better off just selling the item by itself, but it depends on the price of course, either is fine. Just gotta do a little bit of your own research and you'll eventually get the hang of it. That only applies to your exceptional drops, but epic drops that you get from dungeons like Balrog or Fire Dragon, the hard mode dungeons, are untradeable, so you should just extract them naturally. But, for the normal dungeons like Tronic's Bunker and Lingering Darkness, if you get an epic drop from them, they are tradable and go for a hefty amount of meso, sometimes around 5-10 to 10 mil. So definitely make sure you sell any of those you get. I do recommend selling normal dungeon epic equipment even if you do get ones for your class because Fire Dragon and Balrog drop weapons for your class really easily and they come with bonus stats at the cost of slightly lower base stats, but it's negligible. And I have one last method of making meso, although I don't really do it myself because I don't have the patience to and I believe Nexon nerfed it because it was a quote unquote pay to win way to do it. But fishing can give you some good profit if you use high level gear like the gold fishing lure. It's very RNG based though, and you can pay mares to do AFK fishing if you don't feel like sitting in front of your computer screen to fish for 8 hours, I don't blame you. But not very consistent, even so, it does earn you a decent amount of trophies, and trophies can help you out with a lot for character progression. Oh, actually you can get meso from leveling prestige, which is after you reach the level cap, but that's few and far between and not a consistent means of making money. That's about it from what I know, if you guys have any other meso making tips leave them in the comment section below, but right now there isn't too much to do and natural meso farming by killing mobs is very inefficient because Nexon did nerf the meso farming rate to counteract botting, it's just not very efficient right now until we at least get higher paying training grounds and stuff. Level up characters, do your get rich daily missions, farm dungeons and get gear, extract them and sell them for onyx crystals or sell the equipment outright, and then rinse and repeat. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for the beginner's guide coming out soon and I will see you in the next video, take care.